Good day ladies and gentlemen, my name is Cornish Knight and this is a medieval let's play for RimWorld Alpha 14. For those of you that are interested, I am using the Medieval Times mod which can be found on the Workshop Steam page, I shall also link it in the description below. But before you do any of that, let's dive right in. Now, I am relatively new to YouTube, so any issues or little things that pop up, please just make comment of them and I shall cr try to correct them to the best of my ability. Um, right, it's spawning all things in. Colonists or stuff that we locate, we will not be making guns, space equipment or the like with people that are less advanced than modern times. Right. This is the world. Wrath is the seed if you're interested in it. This is where we are. 53.33 east, 34.93 north. We have about two seasons of growing time, just a bit more, and it's going to get fairly cold in the winter. We do have, I believe, a medieval society nearby. Yep. Let's see our quick facts and list. Ah. Yeah, this is one of the downsides I'm playing with the tribal setting for this because it made more sense and it was easier to modify. Unfortunately, this means that a lot of people really don't like you. But we can try to work on that. Let's dive right in. Our characters Sir Ronald Kernow, the Knight of Cornwall. I am um, have a Cornish background, so everything's going to have a medieval slash Cornish theme to it. Um, Lady Grey Kernow, his wife. Miss Rose Lawford, the servant. John of Penzance, one of the guards. Bill of Truro, one of the other guards. I shall quickly just show you the scenario. Returning home from his older brother's legendary once a year birthday party, Sir Kerno, his wife, along with two of his trusted men at arms and a servant, find themselves enveloped in a strange glowing mist which quickly overwhelms them. Upon awakening the next day, the knight and his family find themselves in an unfamiliar land. With no clue of how they got there or what to do next, they strike out into the world looking for a place to live. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how our story begins. Now I shall quickly equip our guards with bows, give the lord his sword, and the wife and the servant a couple of melee weapons. We need to build a room. Let's quickly have a look around, shall we? Just unprioritize these things so people can pick them up. Have a quick look, see what we have. Mm, mountainous terrain, not so bad. But we seem to have got rather lucky in this. So, we'll quickly. I'm not going to pause a lot of history for this, it just takes a bit too long. Quickly claim this as our own. We are going to put a metal door on because it's harder to basically knock down. Stockpiling zone. I believe we shall turn this into a stockpile. And the dumping ground shall be. Hmm, where should we put the dumping ground? Let's put the dumping ground here. Now that we've given everybody their orders, right, I'll just quickly go over the general overview of this. Um, basically, these people all will have a medieval technology and tech levels per se, so they would not be making making anything more advanced than that. Um, guns and the like, though they were prevalent during the medieval period, was relatively a skilled art to produce, so they won't be making them. They can use guns, but they can only be brought in from the outside. Um, and preferably I'd only like people with more advanced cultural background to be able to use them because it makes it a bit more fun. Um, let's quickly just build the wooden 
storehouse. I know it seems a bit daft building it when we have compact steel right there, but I just want to get everything out of the weather. Yes, as I said, um, basically this is all going to be going to be um, medieval tech, so bows and swords and medieval armor and the like. Um, to the op to the question of actually getting away from this planet using space tech, I'm going to put the clause in that only someone with the relevant social background can be able to do it. So if a scientist turns up you'll be able to build it and we'll be able to go, but besides that, these people are going to be here for the long run. I am using the tribal setting for this because it made a lot more sense, though it does limit the game in some ways. Um, it makes basically a lot more people hate you and it makes recruiting people a lot harder. So getting home could be more of a challenge, but that must be expected. One of the guards is throwing up, or is it? John. John has got sickness, probably cryo -sick sickness. Yep. As I said, these people aren't used to travelling through space. I better put down some pillars, or this might collapse. There we go. Furniture. Nice double wooden bed for the stately lord and his wife. Yep, it's all going very nicely and well. Yeah, so the plan is to basically make a medieval castle probably in the middle of here somewhere, make a medieval castle, fortify up and literally try and get off planet. It will take quite a while though, as I said playing with the tribal setting makes everything a lot harder. Your research times are greatly, greatly increased. As can be seen here, uh, if we're not of an industrial tech level, so it takes us 300 times harder, more cost to get here. I have given us stone cutting, complex clothing and medieval tech, because that's stuff they would know. I mean, it seemed a bit stupid to me people knew how to make relatively advanced clothing in prehistoric in the prehistoric periods so it wasn't that believable um, so I just tweaked it a little bit just so it doesn't doesn't, became, it didn't become impossible to play right now that's on the way we sort of throw down some sleeping spots for the others And that's only temporary until we can get some more accommodation set up. Um, what else can we do? Let's see what we can do with the medieval... Ah, brazier. A nice classical medieval lighting apparatus. We still put one of those down. or put two of them down. And while we're at it, we still throw down some growing zones just so we can have some food on the way. Alright, if we could take that and make that a wall right here. So it's doing some quick spatial calculations. Throw down some strawberries, that would be quick to grow. And throw down some very important heel root because obviously this is the medieval period, we're not going to have particularly advanced medicine. And that reminds me. We'll quickly pop into the health and toggle everything to just basically love and tender welfare because we can't really afford people using up our super rare, super magical medicine from space. We have to wait for to get old fashioned medieval medicine to turn up. And we'll put down some quick orders as well. Sop some wood. Because they're going to be burning a lot of wood to get here. Like I said, no electricity. Though we do have 
medieval equipment we have street lamps, braziers, crenellated parapets and embrasures and like blisticus catapults some wooden barricades so it's not total loss and we have Colonel Light in his bedroom what is the wife doing? Oh, she's just wandering quickly throw down some joy for everyone so they stay happy and just turn if actually wait we'll turn Kerno off because I believe he's got a combat weapon it's not good to have people running about getting hacking getting hacked at by animals right here now his wife Lady Grey can't actually haul anything so this is going to be interesting. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly now speed up the time just to get everything moving along a bit. I'm going to also turn off access to the pen to the pemmican, which is like a pervert preserved food stuff just because we're going to be needing it for winter because we won't have any plants growing and animals are very scarce so we're going to have to basically make a lot of our food in advance. There is the Cornish Knight himself, Mr. Sir Roland, basically just wandering all over the place. Now, is there anything in the nearby area? A lot of debris we could probably use. A lot of animals. Very misty, so <laughs> very much like Cornwall indeed. Um, what else? Doesn't look like it. Not too bad. We'll probably break a lot of these buildings, abandoned buildings that are open down just to get their raw materials, though it is a risk with what can come out of them. If you guys have any comments or requests, please leave them in the comment section. I'm always happy to try and help. And as most of you probably will have noticed, I do have a particular love of like medieval and renaissance history. So if there's any questions about that which you're interested in, please don't hesitate to ask. There goes our heel route. What else? Now they're all going to sleep. Yes, as I said. This is like supposed to be a medieval playthrough, so they're going to have all the medieval equipment and objects that they need, like chainmail, plate armor, medieval swords, crossbows, and the like. But they want—they're not going to have any anything beyond sort of like that that particular tech level. So it will be interesting to say the least, especially when they come up against sectoids. Well, not sectoids—that's from XCOM, but basically the mechanical insects and people with guns. It is very interesting when that kind of thing happens. Right, we've got Cornish eating some food with his wife wandering. I'll p quickly put down a... butcher table and a wood-fired stove. And throw up some... quickly just change the location. And they'll build that and then we can build a bit of an overhang to cover the the workers. And they're gonna be angry, yep. Stepped on the ground, set a bedroom, disturb sleep in the dark. So it's not going great, but hey ho. And we're just going to quickly expand. The roofing zone. Just to make sure everything is lovely and covered.
finishing up planting up. If that's the case, I will throw down a deconstruction order on this granite walling because we could probably use it for something. And while we're at it, I should put down remove tiles because hopefully we'll get something out of that as well. Now, that while they're breaking that down, I think I will start. Oh dear, we've got a timber wolf, that's not good. I might have to deal with him sooner rather than later. Put down a hunt order on some animals. Quickly add bill, butcher critch creatures, two creatures to butcher. That's one of the guards, who is it? Bill of Truro. Gives us a nice building material to use. Right, we'll get that all lovely and done. And while they're doing that, we so quickly build another structure. Granite blocks. We should have good enough amount to start building. So let us throw down a nice... Yeah, no, actually, why not we use this space? It seems like a good idea. So... Put a nice steel door. And get them to build that. And while we're at it, we should put down a stone cutter's table. You can see other sort of products and stuff here from the medieval pats. Corpse bonfires allow you to burn bodies. Actually, that could be something useful to have instead of having graves. Um, garden boxes. These like small things. They allow you to build stuff inside in a stone half. I will admit, I'm not the biggest fan of the stone half. It doesn't look particularly pleasant. I'd rather just have um, a campfire set into the wall. It looks more realistic in my opinion. So that's what we're going to be going with. Corpse fires basically allow you to um, burn bodies. So they're useful to get loads of bodies out of the way if you don't want to bury them. Right, we've built that building. That's going to be basically the Lord's house and what we turn this to into we'll turn this into a couple of lodgings for the guards. In that case we'll quickly throw down another wooden bed. We'll quickly also put down a simple meal order. There's five of us, so ten males. Stick it on repeat. So it means that they're not when they run out of supply f supplies they will start having enough food to last them. Now tell me if there's anything you can think I can improve on in this. As I said, this is relatively my first real exploration into doing this kind of thing, so any helpful feedback or comments would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Right, we're quickly advancing time. It's supposed to be advancing time. Hmm, maybe this is magical fog, it's slowing down time. Nope, we're still puddling along. I'll quickly put a hunt out or out on that tricky. But we will be having to deal with this timber wolf sometime soon. They are quite a menace. Plus to be eating our surrounding crops. As you can see. Actually I'll just store up a lot of butcher animal orders. 
because they don't last, unfortunately. I wish you could have that do until you have X, because it means that you could just send people out on on um, hunting missions without worrying about things. We also chop the wood here. Put down some wooden flooring, which is fit, which is befitting of our medieval lord. Hmm, they still haven't got around to actually finishing doing the whole planting of the of the heel root. Thought they'd be done by now. Hmm, got plenty of wood still. Had to keep an eye on our wood. Now it's telling us we need the fences. So let's see, we shall put down security. Embrasures. Hmm. Let's put down some wooden ones. Just because we've, we've, that's the most productive thing we have at the moment. We'll throw a steel door in. That's going to really tank our resources. Yeah, we're almost out of everything now, so we're going to have to start mining or breaking up equipment. Yeah, well, we have some stuff here we can mine. I'll throw down a quick mine order. Yeah, but this wooden embrasure is really not going to last, and the enemies tend to be relatively aggressive in the medieval playthroughs, so... And you tend to have to be as well, because most of your people... Ah, we have a visitor. Ah, war chief from the royal court, from the son's royal court, and he has some of the trade. Ooh, he's got a select helmet, which is basically sort of like a late medieval helmet. He's got muffalo padded jacket, that's nice. Scale dharma. Horbeck, ooh, that's nice. Basically it's sort of like a shirt made of chain mail, or in this case scale mail, which are like dragon or lizard scales. They look really quite cool. And he's paying us a visit. Hopefully we can trade some stuff. Yeah, well, these videos are going to be about half an hour long just so we can cover a fair chunk of stuff in the game. Who's our best? So to light. Oh boy. Right, yeah, we've only got Obviously they're not really that friendly people in Cornwall. Well, I say that we are very friendly, but obviously the spunts aren't. Great bow. Spear. I think I'm going to grab the medicine. Just because I really need it. The great bow would be useful, but the price... Hmm, it is relatively low. I'm going to go for future investment and grab that as well. I forgot the wife can't haul. We'll get to her to prioritise moving the medicine. And just quickly see who else can shoot a bow. Not a lot of people. I might just get the guard. Equip the great bow because it would be better than the normal than the long bow that he's using. Yeah. What I think I'm going to do if the timber wolf is still lurking around, I might just pull the end of the episode, send one out to kill them. Go to kill him, I believe it was. A, uh, actually, that's not fair. I have to check to see what gender the wolf is. Let's just see what gender it is. Male, so yeah, he's going to have to die. He's going to be a pain otherwise. Quickly just move all the steel about. And before we put the bed, right. I would take the knight and his two guards. Let's go and hunt a timber wolf. Where is he? 
He's swimming around here somewhere. There he is. Shooting at him soon. And there goes the wolf. Now we should put the two guards back on normal and they can go back to their duties, and we still have the knight finish off the timber wolf just because it gives him a bit more. Sorry, I thought it was dead, just so it gives him a bit more melee experience. The wolf is dead. Long live the wolf, as they say, or long live the king. Get the knight to take the body back. Builds. I really need to turn off animal corpses. There we go. Turn off animal corpses. Just allow put animal corpses in here because it will mean that they stay a bit fresh for a bit longer. We are almost out of time and a few minutes left. We shall set this to the warrior and his wife. Mm, we're gonna, who's, the, who's the lucky person to get this? I'll give it to one of the guards. But for now, this is going to be divided up into two separate bedrooms. We'll make a bedroom for the servant. I don't think we'll have time to do it in this episode, how to do it in the next episode. But it's not coming along too badly. Nice that we're set up, but we will be moving out into this area, building a proper medieval keep. I'm thinking somewhere around here, I just want to get the first supplies out of the way. But yeah, we're going to be fortifying this up really nicely. The water will make it a bit of a challenge, but you can't do much about that, unfortunately. If they do try and come through it, they'll be slower, so I can sort of make traps. Quickly advance time to the next day. Val is still wandering about. Now he's going home. Hmm, hopefully he's enjoyed his stay. As long as you don't annoy them, the factions aren't too much of a problem. But yeah, I've got a tribe that really hates my guts, a medieval warband that really hates my guts. Hopefully I can improve these people. Maybe not, but we have to try and find out. And we've got your bunch of space pirates, which are going to be interesting to deal with. The sun is coming up. And let us just take a quick inventory check. We've got... 10 simple meals, some rations, and 200 pounds of pemmican, which is basically preferred traveling food stuff. Ah, here we go. Let us see what we shall call our colony Far Land, because we are in a far land. What the guard's going? He's going to grab the wolf's body. He's going to put it in there. We really need to make some kind of accommodation. But I think that'll have to wait till next time. Hopefully you've all enjoyed this video. If you have, please like the video or comment. If you want to follow, please subscribe. For any questions or queries you may have or games you may think I might like playing or would like to see me play, please send an uh, email to cornishnight2 at gmail.com or look me up on Facebook under Cornice Knight. See you all next time.